I went to the police station today to get an update on my case. I borrowed your pocket hairspray. I took it from your dressing table. You know what this humidity does to my hair. I know cotton <clears throat> candy. <laughs> Well, just as I entered the police station, I saw there was this cute officer there who's had his eye on me. So I took out your hairspray and gave my hair a final spritz. Only surprise, it wasn't hairspray. It was mace. <laughs> you had mace. Your hairspray was mace. I maced myself right there in the police station. <laughs> I almost died. I fell to the floor, blinded, writhing in pain. Couldn't move for 20 minutes. Well, what do you know? It works. <laughs> works? They thought I was on angel dust. They wanted to arrest me. I'm lying there dying, and they're harassing me. Murderers are free, rapists are free. Put a poor widow on the floor, they try to lock up. Who'd I hurt? Me. I left three pins. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe you can swing that ball past your hip. <laughs> I wonder if jewelry comes from Jewish people. In Little Falls, the jeweler was Jewish. Jeweler? Jewish? I wonder if there's a connection. I think there's a connection between your brain and wallpaper paste. Three and one is four, and ten is fourteen, and a double letter score is eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, and a triple word score makes a total of sixty-nine points. I win. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is no such word as that. There certainly is. Fine, I'll look it up. And if it isn't in the dictionary, I win. We don't have a dictionary. Yes, we do. Not anymore. The robbers took it. They stole our dictionary? That's right. Too bad. Ma, disdam is not a word. You made it up. It's a word. Fine. Use it in a sentence. You're no good at this damn game. <laughs> I guess you ladies didn't recognize me without my toupee. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, do you mind if I use a phone? You already used my daughter. You didn't ask for my permission. <laughs> There's a phone in the living room. Thanks. Hi. Hi. OK, I know what it looks like. And frankly, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> You had to bring him home. You couldn't find a drunken sailor on a street corner. I was having a meeting with my vacation club. It seems there are a lot of children who like to take vacations without their mothers. Yeah, but then what are, you, what are you all doing here? They never heard of a woman going to bed with her ex-husband. That's him, girls. I can't explain it either. Hi, Dorothy. Don't talk to me. Hi, Blair. Don't talk to me. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand why he sent you flowers at all. I mean, two days ago, you hated each other. And you know what else I don't understand? I don't understand how two people who go off to a business meeting end up in bed together. And you know what else I don't understand? I don't understand why you didn't tell him this morning exactly how you felt. Is that it, Rose? I mean, are you finished, or is there something else that you don't understand? Well, actually, there is. I don't understand how a thermos keeps things both hot and cold. <laughs> yeah, neither do I, but I'll tell you, if ever I sleep with Mr. Wizard, I'll find out what it is. It means losing your two best friends. Besides, we all bowled well this year. That's why I had... All our names engraved on this trophy. In my opinion, we're all winners. Well, Aww. Rose, what a sweet thing to do. Aww. Oh, Rose, can I ask you a question? Sure. Why is your name three times larger than ours? <laughs> because I'm the one who actually won it. 
If you ever want to look at it, it'll be in my bedroom. I was never once robbed or murdered when I was with Charles. <laughs> look, you could just as easily have been murdered living with Charles. I'm surprised she wasn't murdered by Charles. <laughs> With George, when I'd hear a noise, I'd wake him up, and then he'd take out his gun, and then he'd have to find the bullets, because I'd always hide the bullets. And then when he found the bullets, we'd make love. Boy, can you tell a story. <laughs> Oh, Dorothy, you scared me. What are you doing up so late? Honey, do you know what's behind that uh, wall that you're banging on? A lateral fusion pipe. Oh. And do you know what's on the other side of that lateral fusion pipe? No. My head! <laughs> hey, what are you two doing up? Waiting for you. We thought you might want to talk. All the food's already on the table, Dorothy. We didn't want to waste precious time. <laughs> shot my boss. <laughs> I heard footsteps and a man's voice and the alarm went off. It was Lester. He accidentally set off the alarm. Oh, I'm sorry. You shot my boss. I didn't shoot Lester. I'd rather you shot Lester. I think I'll pass on the nightcap, Blanche. Go on home, you old fool. What happened? He shot my boss. Thank God I hated that thing. <laughs> What are you doing shooting? Are you crazy? I heard a noise. I thought it was the robbers. I managed to live 80, 81 years. I survived pneumonia, two operations, a stroke. One night I'll belch and stable Mabel here will blow my head off. <laughs> Rose, you've got to do something. This is crippling you. Just save whatever pieces you find, Sophia. I can glue it back together. You bet. Whatever I find, I love that vase. <laughs>